Hi, this video is a simple tutorial showing you how to view a KMZ file that I created uh, using Google Earth. The file is of a Western Pacific cruise I took when I was in the Navy stationed aboard the USS Fresno in the late 1970s. When I went on the cruise, I, I had an idea for um, recording our latitude longitude waypoint for once each day and uh, documenting that in my the journal that I kept for a few years while I was in the Navy. Um, with with thoughts of maybe later at some later point uh, taking those coordinates and plotting them out on a big wall map and reminiscing about my cruise and looking at my journal entries and seeing where my head was at and that sort of thing. Um, never in my wildest dreams that I have any idea that Google Earth would someday come along and and make that so easy to do something like this. Um, but what I've done here is is you can see the little push pins here um, that I have I've plotted out where we, where we were each day. Um, there's a couple of ways to view this. You can um, either scroll in and as you do you'll see uh, the dates appear next to each of the positions. Um, you can you can click on some of these positions and they'll most of them will have something from my journal that I've, I've transcribed here into the into the database of this file as well. Um, in this case um, a couple days out of San Diego, steaming our way to Hawaii. Our captain, Captain DePaul, had some sort of seizure or stroke and had to be transported to the USS Okinawa for treatment, then flown to Pearl Harbor. Um, that was pretty important stuff to us as a crew just heading out on a six or seven month deployment, however long we were gone. Um, we never did get the captain back. Uh, we think it was some sort of a, a seizure from alcohol withdrawal was the word that was going around. Um, but then there's a couple of ways to view this. You can kind of just do a an overhead view and and spin the globe around and see all the different points that we went to. Um, you can zoom in and, and go from there that way and just randomly select different things. Uh, or the easiest way to probably do it is to um, open up the sidebar. If your sidebar isn't open, I'm not sure how your, your Google Earth is defaulted, but click on this tab here and open up the sidebar. And, and you might want to go to the Layers tab here and click on uh, Borders. Um, this will give you an idea once you get out into the Western Pacific here, unless you know where you're at very well. You'll have no idea what you're looking at, possibly. So click on Borders and Labels, and then maybe minimize that. And then I've got the um, the dates for each position report or each date um, loaded in here sequentially and you can just go through these and double click on them and it'll spin the globe back around to where that was at. You can look at it that way. In some cases I've got um, some photos coded into here as well um, associated with you know that specific day. Um, you can have these photos either um, show in the in the bottom pane that way or off to the side like that. You can either leave that there and just work with it like this or min X that out and get back to the the uh, just the full pane of looking at the globe. Um, but anyway that's pretty much how this works. Um, like I say I've got I've got a lot of the stuff from my journal um, annotated in here. Certainly not all of it but just kinda selected on some highlights I guess. But that's about it. Um, if you've got the file, you probably got it from my blog. If not, I mean, just stumbled onto this video. I'll I'll uh, go ahead and give you a link to the file under the more information part for the video, and you can view it that way. Okay. Thanks for viewing. Bye.